Hi everyone, Lee from Biocast. Uh, we've been talking a bit of late about seed inoculation. Uh, we're using biostimulants, so uh, we get asked a little bit how's it done, what are we looking for, what are the volumes, etc. So today we're just going to whip up a quick example from the bucket here. Uh, I think there's eight or nine different different uh, grasses and, and uh, legumes in there today. Um, we're not, this is a way to do it, but what we're more looking at is what it should look like after it's done and what kind of volumes you actually need to do it. Uh, this is great for small scale, but if you're getting a bit bigger you could use a cement mixer or if you've got a seed auger uh, you can put it, pour it into the boot as it's going up uh, into the seed box. So we've got, that's 100 mil. there's about 4 kilos of seed in there. Now I don't think we'll use all of that. It really is a very, very light application uh, and it's really a little dependent on the seed. The hard coated seeds won't take on as much as the, as the softer seeds. Um, we'll give it a mix up and we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're just going to tip a little into this. You can see we've, we've probably only put, well, we've put 20 mil in there. We'll start mixing. I can feel wet spots in it and dry spots, we'll just keep mixing for a bit. Okay, it's mostly still dry. I'm going to put a little more in. You see it's starting to clump together a little bit there, so I'll give it a fair mix. You can feel the moisture through most of it now, but not, not all of it. So that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. I'll keep mixing it for a bit to make sure I've got it all in. And what we can see is that you can see that it's wet, but it's not saturated. So it is dropping fairly easily. It's stick the little seeds are sticking to my hand a bit. That's because my hand's wet. You can see that that won't block up the spinner and in another couple of minutes that'll pretty well be as dry as when I put it in <clears throat> that's what you're looking for you don't want it saturated wet you just want it contact wet um, so you're talking applications as low as 5 to 10 litres to the tonne which is very very low we've used about 70 mil in that bucket which we if we'd mixed it a more efficient way we could have probably used less than that um, you can do it a different way in that you make it much wetter uh, i have a friend that's done it and he put in uh, microfine lime and biochar as well and formed like his own seed coating on it now that was with with peas so that wasn't going to block anything up um, the results from that were fantastic i think that's got a, a, a bit of future uh, but as you can see now, that's that's free flowing. That's not going to going to stick in the seed box or stick in the spinner, so that'll come out without any trouble. So it's as simple as that. It's really very very low application, and that spread that biocast a, a really long way. So what we've done is we've put auto inducers and living microbes onto the the seed. Now inside of that seed is a microbiome all of its own. So that's now in communication through through signalling with the microbes and it's reading the signal from the auto inducer saying come on party's on let's get out there and do some work so that's just setting it up for a, a fantastic start into the soil so those constant photos you see me putting up of plants with dreadlocks really is a result of doing that and you're going to see a whole lot more of them because I get very pumped about it um, this is really just starting to kick off as an idea a lot of people are taking it up and at somewhere between well, 20 and, and 35 dollars a, a ton to set up a, a crop i don't see why we wouldn't do it it's, it's a fantastic way of, of kick-starting your microbiome so i hope that's helpful um 
with the idea of application oh. rates, etc. And get on it, have a crack at it, see how it goes for you. I'm, I'm finding it an absolutely nothing.